Welcome to another video. Today we're talking about whether Faraday Future has a future. Uh, I know with all this Tesla news, we've kind of forgotten that the rest of the electric car world is still actually moving around and doing its thing. So we're going to talk about it because this company is either just about to go belly up or make a very major step in what's going to happen with them next. Now, if this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. If you're interested in staying up to date with everything that's going on in the exciting world of electric cars, please click on the subscribe button and the bell notification icon right next to it so you can become a part of our community. So let's get going with Faraday Future. And by the way, Happy Black Friday. I don't know where you guys are watching from. Uh, let me know and let me know if you have such a thing as Black Friday here in America. This is a, a, a day after Thanksgiving where everybody just kind of runs to the store at like five o'clock in the morning, stepping over each other, you, you know, stepping on each other's throats just to get like an extra hundred bucks of a flat screen TV. Huge sales going on. Uh, and then we also have Cyber Monday where you can do the same thing at the comfort of your own home online and have it delivered like the next day. So let me know if that's what you guys are doing. I'm going to be doing the Cyber Monday special uh, on Monday in the morning at the same time a level I am letting you know what type of, you know, electric car, you know, owner deals that are out there. So definitely stay tuned for that. And if you have any suggestions, also drop me a line, drop me an email, and I will definitely try to include those sources. All right, let's talk about Faraday Future. Um, now, if you don't know, this is a, this is a startup, you know, 2014, the startup based in Los Angeles, but backed by a, a Chinese investor. And first they came out with this car, I think it was called Zero, uh, FF01. And this was like a sports car and it was kind of a more for like for the show and everything. But that was, that was okay. Um, you know, it was a good start, you know, just to make a splash uh, with everybody. But then they came out with this car right here, which is FF91. And that car was actually more for like, you know, Tesla competitor for Tesla Model S. They, you know, they claimed a really good acceleration, you know, really long range. And I think they collected tens of thousands of reservations when they've unveiled it at the CES uh, about what now? It's been a while, like a year ago, even more. And then little by little by little, they they started kind of, dwindling down they tried to build a factory they got the deal in nevada um they kind of running out of money some of the executives started to quit or get fired and so forth and i think like literally a couple months ago they fired their one of their biggest executives their cfo who used to be a bmw executive and like accused them of all kinds of stuff like trying to derail the company and of course he denies it so just a lot of drama but meanwhile this company is kind of running out of money you know people are thinking that you know this is probably um this is probably something that's just gonna end badly uh, and you know but so here's what happened last week tata the indian company uh, apparently there the reports they've decided to invest almost a billion dollars into Faraday Future and you're watching the video so uh, that's basically the car I mean it's good looking you know it's a good looking car with a lot of specs that are pretty exciting um, so they decided to invest that money and that was a report and now officially they're denying it so nobody kind of knows what's going on there this is kind of reports and I was thinking like wait a second why would Tata an Indian company invest into a company that's kind of dying you know like what's going on why why so much money and then I started thinking, well, wait a second, you know, Tata owns Jaguar, among many other things. And Jaguar, as you remember, is uh, coming up with I-Pace next year, pretty much in less than a year. This is Jaguar I-Pace, good looking, good looking cars. As a matter of fact, Jaguar is going to be electrifying the entire fleet, meaning like all of their cars that are going to be selling by 2020 are going to be either electric or hybrid. They will not be making any gas cars and a lot of other companies like Volvo and so forth committed to the same thing. Um, but I'm thinking, you know, these guys probably would mind having this technology right here. And if they invest the money, uh, they either invest in technology that will obviously benefit their entire brand. But if Faraday Future goes belly up, well, guess who gets the first dibs at ultra cheap uh, in intellectual property? Uh, to get back to Tata and, you know, Jaguar brands and others. And I'm thinking like, wow, that's actually not a bad move at all. 
And that's not a bad move at all. Now, we still don't know whether or not it's true. And I think things like this depend on, you know, I, I was talking about Lucid, uh, Lucid Motors as well, right? They have Lucid Air that seems like a promising car. But, you know, do they really have the technology? Because I feel like a lot of this, a lot of these companies, they kind of roll out prototype and see, oh, well, let's see if we can actually make it. Can we hire engineers and designers? Can we get a factory going? And they don't really know. They just want the investment money, right? Well, so depending on what they actually have right now, I think that's what really the future of there uh, holds for them. If they really do have some really good prop uh, intellectual property, then why not? You know, I, I can see companies buying it. Like, for example, with Lucid, uh, with either them or, uh, or Fisker or uh, Lucid Motors, you know, I can see bigger companies buying them or investing heavily in them so they can get the technology, they can get maybe a luxury type of brand under their umbrella of, of, of different uh, types of cars that they make. You know, that, that, makes, that makes kind of a sense. So, um, yeah, so I thought that was kind of big news. I know it's been overshadowed by Tesla Roadster and semi truck and so forth. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to kind of uh, go there and, and, and kind of let you guys know. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, let me know if you like the look. It's kind of a controversial look. Um, David in a chat uh, says uh, what's important is where engineers came from to FF. To Faraday, uh, I mean, they came from all over the place. Like I said, their uh, CFO was a pretty prominent executive at BMW. So, um, you, you know, from what I understand, their talent pool wasn't bad at all. But now they're kind of all running away. So, you know, it's, 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 you know, that's, it is what it is with it. Uh, Varun in the chat room says maybe Tata just bought the tech. Well, they're not trying to buy it yet, right? They're just trying to make an investment. That's, at least that's what the, um, uh, the you know the report are Greg in the chat room says that he needs two tickets to CES. Um, I'm going to be there, man. So if you go and let me know, I'm definitely going to be reporting on the Fisker unveiling and just like you know Faraday Future unveiled their car back in the day. That's a lot of you know startups and a lot of companies unveil their tech there, even though they're cars, uh, but they unveil it at the CES. All right, let's move on to the comment of the day. Uh, it's becoming one of my most favorite. Uh, uh, favorite segments here and uh, this comment comes from I think a first time uh, poster Niall, Niall, uh, sorry if I'm uh, mispronouncing your name but it's a bit lengthy but I'll tell you this is about the semi truck um, um, that's um, uh, that's uh, you know been, been a pretty much the conversation for most of the uh, uh, a week uh, he says and this is about the battery pack and how big it is he says everybody has made the same assumption about the semi battery pack Using the two kilowatt hour per mile figure and then multiplying it by 500 miles gives you a thousand kilowatt hour. And that's what everyone's kind of speculating. He said that they said that Tesla said that it's a two kilowatt hour per mile was the upper limit. And that's uh, climbing, you know, also that means that climbing up the hill. But then if you're getting the originative braking at 98 percent, getting it back. So it's almost like the hill wasn't really there and he's kind of right about that he says the battery pack could be much smaller than a thousand kilowatt hour even just using a flat level consumption of maybe as little as one kilowatt hour per mile and that would mean about 500 mile range and therefore 500 k kilowatt hour battery so he says then it would make sense so he says so getting 400 miles back in 30 minutes at that is for more by far more realistic at those levels, especially since the mega charger connector looks like three supercharger pair of DC pins and one plug. So you're kind of charging two batteries at once, right? Um, up the pack voltage and it could be done with smaller supercharger tech that already exists. You know, that's an interesting point that he's making, you know, that maybe, maybe we, it is not a thousand uh, kilowatt hour battery. Maybe it's closer to 500 or maybe even 600. But judging by the fact that they can get all of the energy back into the battery and like hills, for example, don't exist, um, that might actually adapt into, you know, some math that's closer to him. So I'll be interested to know what kilowatt hour battery they actually have. Now, today, Model 3 uh, specs came out and uh, turns out that uh, it is ha it has a 75 kilowatt hour battery like most people predicted. So some of those predictions uh, have been relatively uh, on point. But nevertheless, I thought that, that this was a very interesting point 
so thank you for the comment of the day i love those this is why i like this community you guys are just some of you guys most of you really um smarter than me and know more stuff sometimes so this is why i like keeping this as a conversation rather than a one-way uh communication so thank you for that um so that's that's another great comment of the day i mean i just i just love featuring though if you guys are watching it in the replay please go ahead and comment i always try to reply uh and definitely read every single comment so thank you for that um so varun is in the chat is talking uh about the um the indian government maybe behind being the uh, tata investment um that that's possible um uh, Charlie in the chat room says, how long will it take for other manufacturers to catch up to Tesla? And will they? I think your second question is a little bit better because will they catch up? I mean, at some point, probably they will, you know, but right now they're being kind of lazy, I have to say. So I, if Tesla just kind of peaks out and everybody else starts really, really catching up, I say three to five years. So they are really ahead right now, especially with all of the technologies they just showcase us. Uh, with uh, with the uh, truck and the uh, Roadster and with Model 3 coming out, I think it's going to be really hard. Um, you know, the obviously the network that's just been expanding like crazy. And as we talked yesterday, Elon Musk, right? They got Elon Musk, one of their biggest, uh, one of their biggest assets and difference makers. Um, um, Adalberto in the chat says, problem with Faraday is they wanted to run before they could stand. Probably, I mean, you know, these startups, you have to make this all uh, shocking promises and, and, and creating this amazing cars that maybe don't really exist in reality. That's just how, how things kind of work in the tech industry, right? Unfortunately, but that's, that's true for probably most startups. I question if Lucid Air really has all that amazing technology, which I like. Um, you know, uh, Agent RR um, uh, in the chat says, I think they would have a chance to catch up if they had started to put an infrastructure in place. Uh, I agree. And you know what? If they would start putting some effort because they're just trying to keep up with Tesla. I don't feel like I don't feel I don't feel like trying to catch up to Tesla just yet. So that, I think that's that's the problem. Uh, also, Agent RR early in the chat says, I thought that you couldn't uh, you couldn't lease the Model Three, but the configurator on the payment portion uh, uh, they have lease options, which could be incredibly great for everybody. Yeah, if they're gonna lease these cars from the get go, I think that that would increase uh, the interest of people who are buying it right now rather than waiting it for later. I myself only lease cars, and I already told you guys a few times, and I have a video that I think leasing is by far better you can watch that video i'm thinking about doing another uh, live stream about it as well um so yeah it's i mean what <laughs> another exciting week we're definitely going to recap it on sunday when we do the hangout there are some more news i'm going to talk to you guys about tomorrow uh most likely we're going to talk about uh this little car um the uh concept eq from mercedes there's some video that came out i'm going to definitely share that with you guys and we're also going to talk about it and you know talking about manufacturers catching up to to Tesla, this is one of those things. So um, this is why I renamed my channel to cover all of the electric cars because I think it's going to be a very exciting year. I'm talking about 2018. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't don't spend too much money today at Black Friday. I hope, but but I hope you get some good deals. And we'll do the Cyber Monday special on Monday where I can tell you guys about some cool Cyber Monday deals for the electric car owners. Um, other than that, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific. I will see you then and remember to stay charged.